guys, so today I am back in my bathroom and I'm filming a get ready with me video. This one is going to be a little different to my normal get ready with me videos. I know you guys love my get ready with me so I haven't done one in ages. Um, and I've had lots of requests to do like uh, a bit more of a like real get ready with me as in like with a baby, how you get ready in a hurry. Um, so I thought that's what I would do today. So I'm on my vlog camera. I'm going to show you um, getting ready in real time. You're actually not going to see it in real time. Otherwise this video will probably be about 40 45 minutes long, um, but I'm going to take you from start to finish in my routine. I've just got back from the gym, so I'm going to jump in the shower. I'm obviously not going to show you that, um, but I'm going to tell you what I'm going to use in the shower. Um, I've been using my Sopa Dupa um, shower gel. This is the ginger one. It's nearly finished. I love Sopa Dupa shower gels. They're really, really good. And then I'm going to be using on my hair. I need to wash my hair. I haven't washed it in about three days. Um, the Way Volume Shampoo and Conditioner. You can tell these are well loved. I mean, look at this bottle. Um, so I'm going to be using those little one is on her play mat with me um and i think i probably have about 20 minutes of her being amused by the play mat so i'm gonna hop in the shower and i will see you in a minute and this video is also sponsored by clinique for the launch of their new beyond perfecting concealer so i'm going to be showing you how i use that later it's awesome um you guys know if you saw my last video for clinique i've been working with them for the past few months so i'm really excited about that let's jump in the shower so I've just hopped out of the shower with a little bit of a detour to get the baby to sleep, but she's asleep, so hopefully now I'll be able to get ready in peace. Um, for skincare, I'm using my Clinique Moisture Surge Moisturiser underneath my SPF because my skin has been really dry in this hot weather, and I've had like a bit of a breakout on my chin, if you can see there, and it's like at that really horrible dry stage. So I'm using a little bit of that, and that sits really nicely under makeup as well. And then I'm also going to use a little bit of my Sarah Chapman um, eye recovery eye cream around my eyes. Pat that on. And then I'm also using a little bit of my Paula's Choice Resist um, SPF 50 because it is like 23 degrees currently or something like that. It's super, super sunny outside. So I've been using this every day and I love it. And I always put any extra on the back of my hands as well because... I always think it's weird that hand creams don't have SPF in them when you put SPF on your face. Um, I feel like it's one of those places that gets forgotten and it's somewhere that's always exposed to the sun. And brushing my teeth, obviously. I've actually already brushed my teeth this morning because um, I do it before I go to the gym. But I eat breakfast afterwards, so I like to brush my teeth twice if I go to the gym. Right, so I'm going to sort my hair out, or half sort my hair out first. Um, and I'm not going to film it all. I'm going to show you, like... A major fast forward because this is kind of a boring bit but I get a lot of questions about my hair um, and what I do to it and I've actually changed um, a couple of things recently I've done a video not that long ago but I feel like I have changed a few things since then um, one thing that I do use a lot um, are wet brushes amazing if you have tangly hair um, and then I'm just gonna dry it I'm using my Dyson hair dryer today um, I don't know, I've had this for ages, but I kind of go back and forth between using it. If you're wondering why I'm getting ready in the spare room, if you guys know from my vlogs, this is my spare room. Because little one is asleep in my bedroom and I don't want to wake her up with my chatting. Um, but yeah, I've had this for ages and I kind of come back and two with it. Um, but since I've had the baby, it's definitely quieter. So, um, I don't know why, it's quieter. Um, so yeah, I've been using that. And then I've also changed up my curling wand, which is really controversial because I've been using the same one for like two years, which is the GHD waving wand. I always use wands, I never use ones with clips um, or straighteners, really to curl um, but I've been using this one from Lee Stafford um, which is a jazzy colour but um, I'll show you how I use it in a bit um, I'm going to dry my hair first then do my makeup then come back to my hair just because mix it up um, and then I've also been using the Way uh, dry texture foam I've had this in a couple of videos recently actually and I do really like it so that's what I'm using today um, but first I'm just going to brush it which is done because this brush is so amazing and dry it which I'm going to fast forward Okay, so the hair is dry. If you're wondering what I'm drinking as well, going through this, this is iced hazelnut coffee blended that I made myself. I have this in the morning. It's basically um, two shots of espresso, sometimes one, depending on how tired I'm feeling, uh, mixed with hazelnut milk. But I've just been putting it in my Nutribullet with a load of ice and making a blended one. So it's basically like a frappuccino, but homemade and with no sugar in it and it tastes real good. So for foundation, I'm using the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Foundation. Um, and I like this when you're in a hurry because the applicator 
it's basically like a giant doe foot so you can kind of like put it where you want it but you're not like actually putting it on with that and then i'm also using the clinique buffing brush this brush regardless of which foundation you're using is amazing um and when i first got it i was kind of like oh yeah i don't really i something about like I don't know, it just doesn't look like it would be that amazing, but then when you actually use it, you're like, wow, this is amazing. How did I deal without this in my life? Um, so I'm just using like one, like a light coat first. There's now a really loud aeroplane flying over. I told you this was a real get ready with me. Come on, aeroplane. And the reason why I like this foundation, because even though it's really high coverage, it's actually really versatile, because it's very, very buildable. So it's it says it's a foundation plus concealer, so basically you can build up the coverage to really, really high. The shade that I'm using today is for Cream Whip. Um, and basically, if I'm just kind of like out and about not doing much, I'll use like that amount. And as you can see, it just kind of like gives you a decent level of coverage. It's a really nice kind of natural finish. It's matte, but it's not like cakey or dry looking but if I'm going out like I am today because I'm going to London um, I'm gonna put some down my neck as well um, I then will do like another layer to get extra coverage and it just builds really really nicely um, you can obviously put it on the back of your hand as well but again if I'm kind of in the time crunch like I am right now because the baby is gonna wake up soon um, then you can literally just keep building it up and this brush just literally like melts into your skin, it's amazing. Okay, so that's it for foundation. Then I'm using the star of the show, um, the Clinique Beyond Perfecting Concealers. I actually have two shades because I use these for different things. They are kind of the same premise as the foundation. So they have like really, really buildable coverage. So you can use a little bit like under your eyes, but it's like not use a lot and it's not cakey or thick or anything um, and it'll cover that up perfectly or if you have breakouts like I have on my chin you can kind of build it up and I like to use my beauty blender for applying concealer especially when I'm building up coverage because I find if I use a brush sometimes it pushes the coverage around my face it pushes the actual product off where you want to be concealing and if you're like spot concealing um, to like a really high level of coverage then you literally just like dab but yeah, so that's what I'm going to use these for. And the shades I'm using are um, Very Fair 08 and Moderately Fair 14. So the Very Fair 08 is going under my eyes and just on the bridge of my nose. And then the Moderately Fair is going anywhere else on my face that needs concealing. They come with like the little um, squeezy end as well, which makes it easy to just put it on your finger. And then, and then I kind of do the first application with my finger and then kind of go in with my beauty blender and I find as well with a damp beauty blender I feel like I've I've spoken about these for a million years but if they're damp it's first of all it stops too much product going into the beauty blender but it also just leaves everything looking really fresh on the rest of your face okay so that is it for the base these are also very very long wearing so they sell them as 24 hour wear I don't wear them for 24 hours because I'm not gonna like sleep in them I like to take my makeup off although I have to admit I did fall asleep wearing my foundation the night before last and I was wearing this foundation and this concealer and I woke up in the morning looked in the mirror and I was like oh my god my skin looks amazing um, and then I realized that I had slept in my makeup um, and yeah probably not great for my skin but I mean, it looked great in the morning. So I did actually test it out on pretty much 24 hour wear um, and it didn't budge, but um, I probably wouldn't recommend sleeping in it. Um, but yeah, really, really long lasting. So if you're out for like a full day, it's amazing. I'm then just gonna hop forward and do my brows. I'm gonna come back and add some bronzer, but I'm just gonna let everything kind of just set. That's the other thing I really like about this foundation is it really like, um, it just takes, it. I I'm trying to think how to describe it. It basically just like, sits into your skin really well like it doesn't apply looking really nice and then start to break down it looks nicer and nicer throughout the day if that makes sense i found anyway um i'm using my uh brow define pencil for eyelure i'm actually using the medium color today so i'm gonna use the light or the lighter shade on the medium one to do some brush strokes to get the shape of it better and then i'm gonna use the darker one in the middle of my brows to fill in any sparseness. Uh, 
And then I'm just going to use a bronzer today. I'm not going to use a blush. I'm using the Hourglass Radiant Bronze Light, which is pretty much my favourite bronzer, if I'm honest. And I'm just using this. I mean, I've spoken about it loads. Kind of as a blusher. And then for eyes, I'm using this, which I've been using for the past week or so. I actually really like it. It's from a brand called Decorte, which is a new, well, it's not new, but it's new to England. It's a Japanese brand. How pretty is this colour? Such a nice, like, metallic-y, mauve metallic shade. And I'm just going to use a little bit of this all over my lids and just kind of blend it in. It's really, really easy as well. Like, you can use it... Um, quite heavily and it looks like quite nice and metallic but if you just want like a sheer wash it's a really nice pinky colour and the shade is PK883 I think there's a lot of Japanese writing on the back um, but I really like it it's kind of like a nice mauve and then I'm also if I can find it going to use a little bit or one shade from my Rodial um, Smoky Eye Palette. I'm gonna use this kind of medium, like, taupey color on a little fluffy brush and just add a little bit of definition. And this is matte, so it's quite um, subtle. I'm just gonna put that in my socket line. And then I'm gonna use the same color as well just to blend um, around my lash line. And then I'm also going to do a little bit of liquid eyeliner today. I'm going to do like a half flick. Um, so coming from just where my eye starts to go like down on the corner, I'm using the Tarte Man Eater Eyeliner, which I really like. It's kind of like, um, it's got that like brush tip instead of having the felt tip. Um, so it's quite flexible, but it's not too fat. The Chanel one is a bit fatter. It's like similar to this, but it's a bit fatter. So it's good if you want like a more dramatic line, but this one's easier to use if you want something less dramatic and I'm going to open up then my camera's on top of a chest of drawers this is real life like I told you so I open the chest of drawers because I get ready on my dressing table as well normally if I'm in my room and I lean my elbows on the chest of drawers in order to like keep a steady hand or you can put them like on your dressing table whichever works for you um yeah so that's how I apply my eyeliner in real life And then for mascara, I'm using the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes. This is a double-ended version that came in a set, but I do really like the normal one. The normal one is on this end, and then they have the, like, bottom lash, like, little tiny brush on the other end. But I'm probably just going to use the normal one for both, because I don't have a huge amount of time to faff around with a tiny brush, but... Okay, so lastly for lipstick, I'm going to pop on a little bit of Max Modesty, which is like one of my favourite all-time shades from them. Actually matches my nail varnish perfectly, which on another note, I've been getting loads of questions about this colour because I'm wearing it loads recently. It's a gel colour, so I don't know what colour it is. Um, I'm sorry, but I really like it as well. Um, I'm going to pop on a little bit of this, which is like my favourite kind of pinky nude. To be honest, at the moment, if I've got a little one with me, a lot of the time I just don't wear lipstick because I just kiss her all the time. And as cheesy as that sounds, but this is a real, like, excuse why I don't wear lipstick. I just kiss her all the time, and if I'm wearing lipstick, I end up leaving lipstick marks on her face, and then I have to wipe them off, which is just a pain. So, um, a lot of the time I don't wear lipstick, but for the sake of this lipstick going really well with my eyeshadow, I'm gonna put some on, and then probably wipe it off in a few hours when I get bored of leaving lipstick on the baby's face. And that is it for my makeup, for my hair. It's looking a little bit unpolished as you can tell I actually quite like my hair straight like I don't always always curl it but I'm gonna curl it today um, like I said before I'm using my Lee Stafford jazzy wand um, which is really good and not that expensive um, I actually really really like using it if you want like kind of beachy ish waves and I take it in sections that are about um, probably an inch wide or half an inch wide I kind of like change it up as I go along um, curl it away from my face brush it through and then put texturizing um, mousse into it. So let's do that now, but let's speed it up so we're not here all day. So 
So hair and makeup is done, baby is still asleep, yes. Um, I'm gonna pop on some clothes and I'll come back and show you my outfit and then I'm gonna head off to London for the day. Also totally forgot to powder. Um, I am using, when I remember, my hourglass powder that I have been loving recently. And I'm just going to powder that foundation. Okay, now I'm gonna get changed. Okay, so this is what I'm wearing today, guys. This dress is from River Island um, on ASOS. I actually really love it. It's quite dressed up for the daytime, but I feel like I can get away with it because um, I'm gonna throw a leather jacket on for like when it gets colder and like inside and stuff. But it's just really, really pretty. It's really lightweight, so it's very, very like cool and floaty. Um, and then I have on this belt, which is from Topshop about two years ago now, but they always sell kind of similar things to this on Topshop and ASOS. I love this one actually, it's really, really good quality because it has the metal edging all the way around and it also is mixed metal, so it has gold and silver, so whatever jewelry you're wearing, it will go with it. Um, and then, yeah, so I'm wearing this, I really like it, kind of like, like I said, kind of dressed up, but kind of not at the same time. And then I'm also taking my All Saints leather jacket for when it gets a bit cooler later this afternoon it is like baking baking hot right now so um this is not staying on for very long but that is the look i actually don't have my shoes on yet because they're downstairs i'm probably just gonna wear my plain black like balenciaga studded sandals or maybe my plain black espadrilles but i feel like my espadrilles will look a bit chunky with this um but yeah it's got a slit in it as well which is like up to the knee which is quite nice i kind of wish it had a slit on either side I just love it. So easy to wear and flattering and the off the shoulder, like cold, not off the shoulder, cold shoulder detail. If you're like a bit wary of your arms there, it's just so good because it just covers up the little bit, the bingo wings. Um, but yeah, so really like this. And that is it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'm gonna kneel on the floor to say goodbye. Um, yeah, this is like a real get ready with me. Um, I'm gonna go give Little River her mid-morning um, milk and then we're heading off to London today. So yes, I will see you guys very soon. And a big thank you to the amazing team at Clinique for sponsoring this video. Um, and yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you soon.